So I think I finally figured it out. Um, I'm gonna hold my phone this way, I guess. So this is in the data sheet, and uh, I've been looking at this for quite a while, but I finally figured out that uh, this first um, byte is the command field, the second byte is the data field. My problem was understanding how to send both of them at once. Um, and you were talking about the read-write bit. I, I just overlooked this. I didn't realize that that was the first bit <clears throat> that indicated whether we're doing a read or write. And that it tells you right here whether that needs to be a one or a zero to do read and write. So, um, and the other thing that I've got in this data sheet uh, that I just confirmed or used to confirm is this is this is the address that you need to send um, as part of the, the two bytes. Yeah, as part of the two bytes of command um, and the data. Um, and I think what's happening is you have to send a command and um, also send the data maybe. Um, but anyway, this is the this is the address and this is the default value at that address. So over here is let me get this back to my code. I'm hoping this will come through fine. So what I did was, and this is what's tripping me up. Um, that's my code there. That transmit data zero. Um, the the first hex value there is the. Um, is that the right? That's the wrong one. Hold on a second. Sorry, this is the right here. Um, so here, um, um, try, I'm getting the value for the first register, 01, which is that guy right there. It has a default value of 7. And um, I'm doing a bitwise operator there, an OR operator. And I, what I'm telling it is I want to do a read at that register. Um, ignore the data. Uh, equals one there. That was, um, I don't really need that. I just left that in there for right now. But that's the command I'm sending with the SPI transmit. Um, and you can see the command there. And when I look at my, when I look at my, where's my mouse? Uh, logic analyzer, I'm seeing uh, this come across. Uh, the top is uh, mossy um, and the, and the, Bottom there. I'm sorry. The, you can see it there. You can see the channel zero is mossy, uh, is mice, it's mossy, and then channel one is miso. Um, and it was confusing me because I kept seeing the the 81 come across, and I was like, "What is that? I don't see that." But what that is, that's the. I don't know why I missed this, but this is the the bitwise operator. When I take the one and the 80, which is the read command, um, or I think that sets the the bit uh, to read. Um, I get 81 when I do the the bitwise operator. So that's that's right, and it's coming across. And then so the response I'm getting um, in the in the MISO is the 07. And so when I look at my data sheet, I don't know if you can tell I'm pretty excited about this. Um, but I look at my data sheet. I see 07, and I've tried it with several other addresses and, and got the default value. Um, I'll try it with TC next, but anyway, um, I'm pretty, I think that's it. Um, if you can just kind of let me know in a text, that would be great. I'm not sure what, I'm not sure what this, like there's a second zero here. Maybe that's that, um, that dummy byte that you're talking about is what that is. Um, and there's a dummy byte coming across, but um, anyway, it, it um, I've got my, it took me a while to get my clock right. It, it has to be, according to data sheet, it has to do 16 pulses, uh, and I finally figured that out to do a to do a write, I believe, um, or maybe it was read. Heck, I can't remember now. But anyway, let me know what you think. Am I am I close or, or am I still far off? Thanks, Tom.